everyone to week three preschool activity for summer reading. Woohoo! I'm so excited for this one. This one is super fun to do. Not many steps, and we like those things. Yeah. So, are you guys excited? Because we're excited. So, welcome, like I said, to another week of summer reading. We are going to take you step through step through each part of this process. So, some of the steps may already be pre done. So, pause the video at any time that you need if you need to go back for a certain step. Um, so, some of our craft projects are on previous um, videos on YouTube. So, please go there and check out some of our previous. Um, crafts that we've done this summer and if you have any questions you can always contact us at the Facebook we have here at www.facebook.com slash herbal public library it'll be here on the screen so I think we can start our project are you ready Miss Miranda I'm ready okay let's go bring right. out your packet it should say week three and it should say planet marble painting isn't this cute so we're just gonna pull everything out and we're just kind of kind of go over it um, so the very first thing that you'll see there is your instructions. Um, don't forget to grab those out because this you can use for later on if you want to if you have all these supplies at home. Um, the next thing on the list is um, construct black construction paper. Ooh, you'll need that. You'll also have a spoon. A spoon. I got a spoon. Yes, spoons are very important. Now your paper might be a yeah. little folded. Yeah, we're going to push it that way. Yes. So you maybe flatten it off just a little bit. Now, you'll also have some pictures of aliens. You should have two. They'll be the same alien. Um, you'll also have a container, a reusable container. You will also, after your reusable container, have some cardstock pieces of circles. And we'll explain more about those later. You should have six of those and two pieces of black construction paper. Um, you'll also have a little piece of paper with little paint painter's tape strips you'll be using that later as well um you will also have paint we love paint here you'll have three different colors you will have green pink and purple now prior to your activity please make sure you are setting up your area for crafting so make sure you're using a tablecloth you're either outside or you have something on the table so you're not getting everything sticky and yucky with paint yep because we want to keep all of our surfaces clean Yep. You will also have a glue stick. Um, you'll have just a random one. You might be a surprise. You might have a gel one. You might just have a regular one, but it is something. You have a glue stick. Um, you will also have some cool neon crayons, and I'll explain how we're going to use those later. And you'll also have another little baggie within your baggie that'll have a bunch of star stickers. They're foam stickers, as well as some marbles at the bottom so that they weren't rolling around in your bag. So that's all the stuff that is in your bag today. Now, I'm going to state this now and I'll state it again later. And Miss Miranda might state it too. We just want you guys to make sure that we are going to be using this container in next week's craft. So please don't throw it away. Just wash it up, let it dry, and then set it aside and maybe put it back in your bag so that you're not losing it. So we're going to reuse these containers next week. So stay tuned for that video. So before we begin, we're going to just move all of our stuff. The first thing you are going to need to do is you're going to need to use your container. You're going to need your tape. Oh, I forgot, Miss Miranda. Oh. <laughs> this is what we're doing today. We're making a space, I don't know how to describe it, space picture. Mar space marble scene? A space marble scene. That works out better, too. Yeah. I can't talk today, guys. Bear with me. Um, so we're just going to make a picture of us, a little alien, hanging out in space. You can add stars. We're going to make planets. This is the next step we're going to be doing. But this is what we are doing today. So here it is. Isn't that beautiful? It's very and, cute. And it's so customizable, too. If, yeah. So if you had other paints at home, I gave you all the supplies that you needed to make two of these. So you cool. can make two different aliens, look two different ways. Or if you guys have paint at home and you want to do different planets in different colors, you can do that too. I gave you all the supplies you needed to make two outer space pictures. Cool. So it's going to be really exciting. So we're going to put that to the side. Okay. Miss Miranda, can we use the tape that's in your bag, please? Absolutely. Okay. So we're also going to use your circles too. Okay. 
So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna use your tape here. You're gonna peel it off, if you can, because sometimes tape's hard to peel off. And then you're going to roll it up, just like this. We're gonna stick it on one side of the circle and we're gonna push it down. Can you see that? There we go. Can we get closer with the camera? We can if we want, yeah. All right, let's see. That's good, all right. There we go. Okay, so the next thing we are going to do is we're gonna put a couple, two more in there just like we did before for this step. So we're just gonna pull off some tape. I'm gonna hand it to Miss Miranda. She'll roll it up and we'll place it in the tub. Now, it kind of reminded me almost like of a pizza. Because you have all your <laughs> toppings you have on your pizza, but there's this is not a pizza, sadly. No. I like pizza. Do you guys like pizza? Tell me what kind of pizza you like down in the comments. Okay, so the next thing you will need to do, well, the next thing I'm going to show you is how to roll your marbles in your pan so that once the paint is in there and all that, you don't have marbles flying everywhere in your house with paint on them, because they do roll away fast. Miss Miranda saw me do it the other day, <laughs> completely by accident, and it rolled all around with paint on it. That was a fun mess to pick up. So we're going to show you how to do this step without the paint, and then we will show you with the paint. We actually have some plan that's already made aside for us, so that those can dry, and we can make another alien craft another day. So, if you want to, you can dump out your whole little package here. If it has your stars, your marbles are at the very, very bottom. So, you, I just kind of turned them around in my container so that all the marbles hmm, are in there. So that I didn't have to worry. And then I just picked out all the stars. That's a good idea. Yes. And then you won't have marbles rolling around your house. There should be five marbles in there. You might have four if somehow you accidentally got four marbles. If not, we'll have plenty of marbles here if you want more. Um, it is up to you how many marbles you want to use for your craft. I used all five because I think it's fun. Um, so hold your container very nicely here. See, as they roll around super fast. <laughs> so we just tilt it slightly, just slightly. And then you can go forward with it and then backwards with it. So once the paint's in there, and with the marbles all rolling around, you will cover the pieces of cardstock that you placed in there, and it's gonna have a very cool design, kind of like this, right here. Ah. Isn't that cute? Okay. I, just, I love them, and you can, there's so many ways. You can lightly cover your planet, or you can Ooh. cover it all the way with different colors. Cool. So now that we have done this part of it, and now you know, only tilt slightly, because if you really tilt it, they'll fall out. We don't want that, especially when there's paint in there. If you're practicing, go ahead and practice for a little bit, because that's also fun to do too. <laughs> Just to shake it, it's almost like a maraca, but not a maraca. So here's, Miss Miranda's going to put the paint in the container, and she's just gonna dr um, drizzle it around. Some Your paint might be a little bit thicker, so that's why you have a spoon, mm. so that you can put it on your spoon, okay. and just kind of place it anywhere in the container. It can be on the circles, it can be on the container itself, it does not matter. I just kind of put paint in different places, and it came, gave me the different like designs. So, it's always fun. So just all over, huh? All over! All right. It's almost fun, so much fun. Sounds cool. Do we want to use all the paint? You can use all the paint if you want to for your color of your planet, or you can use a little bit and have all the planets, cause that's what I did with this one. I used mm. a little bit of every color okay. and it rolled it around. And then with this one, I just chose two colors and just kind of lightly marbled around. So yeah. it's up to you on what you want to do for your planets. I think they're both cool. Yes. There's so many designs and so many ways it can come out. And I think that's why I like this project so much is because you can make all the planets you want Different colors, Woo. different ways. I don't know be what careful. happened. What happened? It jumped out of my hand. Oh no! Yes, please be careful. <laughs> this is a messy project. Yes. So like we said before, well, as you're prepping your space, you want to make sure that you're wearing clothes that you do not mind getting dirty. Yeah. With paint. That's probably a good idea. Yeah. So maybe a paint smock of some kind. Um, that is something we did not provide you, but I know that everyone has that shirt that you, that you don't mind going outside 
and getting tough with the mud and stuff. So yep. you wear those type of shirts when you're doing projects like these. Um, so if Miss Miranda, if you want to show them how to rule the marbles in the paint, you can. Yeah. Well, I think right. you just kind of tilt them back and forth. You can knock them into each other, it looks like. Yeah, it's kind of like a fun game. Yeah. And like I said, with the paint, with it being a thicker paint, it might slow them down just a little bit. So you might not have that worry like we did without the paint. Mm -hmm. But sometimes if you're going really crazy tilting your container, your marbles will fly out because that's what happened to me. But see how she's just shaking them just lightly and just covering it all over. Now with this paint, it might dry rather fast, depending on how much paint you put on there. And if not, it might take them a little bit while to dry. So when you're done covering up your papers, just like that, you're going to set this whole container aside to let it dry. So that's what we are going to do right now. We're gonna just push it aside and wait for that to dry. And like I said, we are already actually ahead on some of our parts because our planets are already done. And dry. And dry. <laughs> so we could actually make this craft with you guys today because that might take a while to dry. Yep. And we don't want to just wait around. We want to make sure we get this craft done for you guys. So we're going to use these. You can use whatever planets you want, Miss Miranda. Okay. Um, we can have three each. So here's your piece of black construction paper. So here you go, guys. You can see our um, construction paper. Now I have two Mr. Aliens ready to be colored if i can pick him up one's <laughs> hiding out under the paint over here such a silly alien so the first thing you are going to do is color your alien and you're going to use those cool mm. neon crayons that we provided you to um color him i'm going to give one to miss miranda and i'm going to use one myself and we're going to color our fun alien friend Ooh, Ooh, give cool. him a name if you want to we have some very fun crayon colors I like this blue. The blue is so pretty, and so is the pink. Now, be careful with your crayons. When Miss Nina was coloring with them, one of my crayons broke. But that's mm -hmm. okay. Crayons do that. So I think I'm going to give my alien guy blue hair. Because so I think that'd be f fun. Mine's going to have pink hair. Ooh. I think mine's going to have a pink spaceship. Oh, that would be cool. Now, we are going to keep coloring, and if you want to, you can color your alien, too. Don't forget to color his antenna, guys. I almost forgot. There we go. There's my guy. All right. There we go. How cool. Okay. Now just put your crayons aside and get out your glue stick and place him anywhere you want. For my first time making him, I put him all the way down at the bottom of my space scene. You can decide where you want to place him. It is all up to you. Oh, we got the purple glues. Mm -hmm. And just make sure he's pretty covered with glue so he doesn't come off. I'm gonna put him right in the middle to the side. I'm gonna put mine at the middle bottom. Just like that. Cool. Now, the next oh, thing. Careful. Oh, yeah. Careful of your little <laughs> antenna. Put a, I put a little bit of glue on him yeah. so that he doesn't just hang out and bend. Now, take your um, planets, if you want, 
or you could do your stars it does ma does not matter on how you want to do it either you can place your planets first and then put your stars down or you can put your stars down and then place your planets i think the since the planets are bigger i put them down first yeah i'm thinking the same thing so place your planets wherever you want because you can lay down your planets once they are fully dry. All you have to do is take off the tape from the back and then you'll have a dry planet. So you can place your planets anywhere you want. I love being creative with paint like that. Mm -hmm. And you can do that, you can do that exact um, Thing, marble painting with any shape you oh, can yeah. do it with stars you can do it with you know circles like we did triangles squares you can just do it with different types of shapes too you might want to help pull down your planets since they are heftier paper they might take some time to place and then I'm going to place one more planet and me and Miss Miranda just kind of intermixed planets here yep. I'm gonna put one yeah, I'll put one here, right in the middle. See, and there's your planets. Cool. Isn't that cool? And they're so different too. Mm -hmm. I think that's the fun thing about this. Now we can add the best part, the stars. Mm -hmm. So now they have a cool little adhesive on the back. So there's little white paper. You just have to peel off just like that. And you can add your stars wherever you may choose. Boop. Ooh, I like the, what Miss Miranda's doing. She's adding them around the planets. Now, sometimes, depending on how you pull it, might rip the um, back papering. So you might have to like move around it to get all the um, paper off so that your stars can stick properly to the paper. Yep. Because I've found that issue out when I was doing this project. See, we're just gonna place stars everywhere. And then if you wanna get really creative after you um, put your stars down, you have those crayons too. So you can do fun like little squiggly lines, you could draw clouds if you want to, you can do so many things with the crayons afterwards. And because they're neon crayons, it looks like they're gonna show up a lot better mm -hmm. on the black paper. Yes. So if you have a white crayon at home, you can do the same thing oh, yeah. with the white crayon. Maybe make like a star galaxy. Mm -hmm. um, wispies, that's what I call them. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's how you use the crayons on the paper if you want to. Or you can add other fun things. Maybe you want to add a spaceship to your background. Maybe hunting um, to find the alien friend. Maybe he has other alien friends. Or if you want to, you can just add more the other aliens to your thing too. It's all up to you on what you want to do for your craft. Oh yeah. You can use all the stickers. You don't have to use all the stickers. It is up to you. I think in another video we called the world is your oyster. <laughs> I will also put that picture here on the screen if you don't know what an oyster is. Um, but yeah, I love this project. Me too, it's very cute. Very easy, very fun. You can just do so many different things with this craft. Now, also, when you are done with this craft and it is completely dried, you can hang it up anywhere you want. And if you want to, you can also send us a picture of your finished craft. Please send it to us on our Facebook page at www.facebook.com slash Rova Public Library. I'm getting really good at that. <laughs> but I will also put it here on the screen as well. See? Very fun. It's just so much fun. Please. Could be decorate your fridge at home. You could. I like it. And like I said, you can do so many things with this. It's crazy. There we go. Looks good. I love it, guys. Thank you so much for joining us today for our video. We loved doing this project with you guys. And if you need to go back and look at some steps, please go back to the video and pause wherever you need to. Or you can look at the instructions as well. That all is explained on that piece of paper. But just remember, please be careful when you're tilting the container and please keep the container for next week. So just wash it up, let it dry, and maybe place it back in your bag so you know to use it again for next week. 
Um, so also check out all of our other videos on YouTube. Like I've said before, we got some really cool ones in there. Mm -hmm. Um, I think we have some older videos from last summer that you can see all the cool fun things. I know there is a pizza one, so I'll see if I can link it to this video here. Um, we did a fun, we built like a pizza and that mm -hmm. was really fun to do last summer. So we could, I'll have those linked there for you. And there's all a bunch of other ones too. We read some fun books last summer and just did some other fun crafts. I'll make sure we link those there. Nope. So. Please keep reading and filling out those book logs. And Miss Miranda, what can they use those book logs for? And what do they get with them? You can use your book logs to get some uh, store library money. And we set up a store with all kinds of cool things in it. And you can uh, get some money depending on what type of books you read. Mm -hmm. And you can also use that same money to get uh, Reading tags, tags, reading tags. I was gonna call That's them book tags. Tough. Reading tags. Book tags, um, reading tags. Yep. And Four you books. put them on a necklace, and uh, we'll see how many you can get. There's six in total. So read, read, read. I will insert a picture right here of those exact tags. So please collect them all. They're mm -hmm. so fun. And when you get those tags, it's that same, not the same money, but when you're re done reading a book and you show us your book log when you bring it into the library, it can be upstairs or downstairs, we'll see that you've read a certain amount and we will give you those tags for that certain amount of, of that it costs for that tag, if that makes sense. Yeah. So let's say one of them's what, 25? Mm -hmm. So once you reach 25 points on your reading log, we will give you the first tag. Yep. So all the tags are here, like I said, on the screen. Um, they're all super cool. I want them all. <laughs> I want them all. So yeah, please don't forget to be reading. Come on in and get all of our new books that are on display. We always get some new books and there's always books here that we're more than welcome to recommend for you guys. Mm -hmm. And once you are done reading your reading goals, bring them in so we can see you guys because we miss seeing you guys in person. Um, send us pictures of your crafts that's already done. I will have the link here on the screen um, to show you where we send them. Um, and again, we will see you again next week doing another fun craft with you guys. So we'll see you then. Bye. Bye.